Hey Gail, uh, this is William Bowman. I'm recording this uh, custom video for you as requested. Um, I was looking around and I did notice that your site was down. Um, so that's why I reached out. Um, so I, I wanted to explain some things that you can do when you bring your site back up, you know, whether it be, you know, through 401 Locals or through anybody else. If, if you actually own this domain or if you even want to make a new one, I kind of want to show you what your competitors are doing in order to get large volumes of clients to their sites. Um, and then what you can do on your site in order to win that volume over so that you can start winning those clients in the future as soon as your site's up and running. So to start out, I want to cover some basic information just so that you understand, you know, different aspects of SEO or search engine optimization. Um, so to start out, uh, you know, let's talk about keywords. So keywords are what somebody would throw into Google in order to find your specific service, right? So since you guys are operating in Lubbock, they'd throw in tree removal, Lubbock, Texas. And this is actually a really uh, high search volume, uh, search volume word. So if you, if you come down, uh, you're, the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see ads. So I'm glad to see that your company isn't up here uh, with ads because Unfortunately, what happens is a lot of clients will just move past these. Um, so the uh, the ads, you know, they they do generate revenue. Not going to lie, um, but a lot of them they they don't get as much revenue as they were hoping, um, and they are kind of expensive. Um, so then you come down to the map pack, and uh, the map pack is basically if you are if you aren't already on this map pack, if you don't have quality tree care like already associated, this is called uh, the Google map pack. And the way you get on this is by going to Google my business, and you fill out like a little application, put your put your name of your business on there and your location and address, and you can appear here. Now there is ways to optimize this, uh, you can actually find YouTube videos that show you exactly how to optimize this GMB um, area so that you can be in the top three. But I want to cover your site because that's coming up you know, first, you probably want your site up and running first. Um, so let's talk about your very first competitor here. So we see Hildebrandt Tree Tree Tech, that's number one. So I came over to their website. We can kind of see their website. Um, and, you know, I, I want to cover their website, things that they did good, so that you can think of it uh, whenever you set yours up. But I also want to look, I, I want to look under the hood with it with you. So that way you get to see exactly what they did and exactly how effective it is. So when we look here, we see that they have, you know, their, uh, their contact, their, all of their service pages and everything. They follow you down with a number so that you don't have to look for the number ever, anywhere. That's a really good tactic. They have the contact form directly at the top in case somebody, you know, they're ready to just give their business immediately. They don't want them to have to search through the page for them. Um, they have good information throughout here and they have links to other pages. You know, whenever I click this, it takes me to their, you know, tree care, tree removal page, which is part of their services tab. So they have multiple ways to get through their website and they have, you know, information laid out. Now, one thing that I will note is that they should probably aim for more content on this front page. You want anywhere between a thousand to 1500 words on your front page. And the reason for that is so that you can fit more keywords. So the more keywords you have, the more different search way, uh, different search mechanisms you can have in order to find your company. So in regards to this, um, I, let me show you what's under the hood so that you actually see it. So we have UR, DR, backlinks, and referring domains. And let me explain what this means. So UR, the URL rating, that's basically what happens. Uh, that's like Google's way of saying how trustworthy the site is. And a UR of 23, that's that's pretty good. Usually for this ranking though, for, to be up here, um, you would expect that number to be around 25 to 30. Um, and then DR, this is domain rating. So you shouldn't have, these shouldn't be so disparate. You should, you should have them closer together. A domain rating is Google's way of saying how powerful the site is or what the reputation it is. So it looks like, you know, they're, they're trustworthy. They're just, they don't have any power or reputation. And you kind of want those numbers to go up together. And the way to make them go up uh, is through, you know, one thing called citations, which is putting your contact information throughout the web on different sites. But the other way is through backlinks. So backlinks, this is like thinking, think about like if somebody were to write a blog and they were to say, oh my goodness, you know, quality tree care, they were the best company that I've ever used. Here's their site here. And they put a link to your site. That's what a backlink is. And that's, so they're having 68 different backlinks from 30 different websites. So about two backlinks per website. Now I do want to note backlinks are only, you know, as good as the quality of them. So you should focus on quality over quantity. I see a lot of companies that have, you know, they have like a thousand backlinks and then I see somebody who's outranking them and they only have five backlinks. You know, like quality is way more important with backlinks. 
Um, so if you're going to get them, make sure that the, the website you're getting them from has a high DR and a high UR, and then that they're following, they're sending a link to your site and they don't put the HTML code at the end that says don't follow back because then they're not sharing any of this DR. But um, let me pop into these keywords that they're ranking for. And you can see the volumes every single month that clients are searching and you can see their position rank. So if you see 80 here from Tree Service Lubbock, 70 here from Tree Service Lubbock, Texas, 60 here from Tree Removal Lubbock, Texas, see, and they're all a little bit different, but if you see the ranks number one, 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 80, 70, 60, 50, 60, 60, you know, these add up, you know, some of them, they're not so good. Like my tree, that's, that's a nationwide search. That's probably not going to bring them any business. Um, so not so important to rank for that, but these guys up here, these are good. And you can see other ones that they, that might be good as you scroll down. Um, but that's, these are the types of words that you want to rank for. And that's why you want a thousand to 1500 words, right? So you can throw these and sprinkle these around five or six times through the page and it doesn't seem forced and it doesn't seem like they're packed in like sardines. So I hope that this information gave you some more ideas about, you know, when you're, you know, going through and getting a site running up, you know, what type of volume you should be getting on a monthly basis, you know, what type of keywords you should be using and kind of how you should be uh, creating your backlinks, you know, the quality of those backlinks. But I hope this information was useful. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to give me a call. I'd love some feedback on what you thought. But if not, uh, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much, Gail. Bye-bye.